from the perspective of repentance in the latin understanding and the normal evangelical church understanding is not the meaning of the word metanoia so repentance does not mean being sorry enough to be asked for forgiveness or be sorry enough for your sin so that god will forgive you repentance is a change of mind or actually the word means with mind or agreement with the mind of god so that's not the same as being sorry and repentance and doing penance so what i'm saying is you don't need to do penance to be saved you're already saved in reality you don't need to do penance to receive something that's already yours faith also from the context of the old covenant and also repentance from dead works and faith in god are old covenant principles in hebrews 6 1 and 2 you don't need to lay those foundations again it's not our faith in god that saves us it's god's faith in us or the faith that god gives us to be able to realize the reality of the truth of what he's already done so when you look at it from that perspective and you read those verses that you quoted from that perspective god command us everywhere to repent yes he does basically he wants everyone to have a change of mind to agree with him about themselves and who he is not to do penance and that is where the confusion comes because penance comes from the latin latin is the wrong understanding of metanoia and we need to be careful that we're not sucked into old covenant understanding of those things that being said uh, i have explained in the teaching that we do need faith for calling things that be not as if they are and for using faith to create things as god used that to create things that's not the same as our faith saving us because that's a work that's a dead work in fact our faith doesn't save us i do not live by my faith i live by the faith of the son of god which is very different from living by my faith in the son of god which is a wrong translation of the word again in english so from that perspective he uh, sorry ephesians basically says that we are saved by grace through faith that is not of our own it is a gift so that we can't boast so yes believe what we're believing on to be saved we're believing on what god has already done or coming to the realization that enables us to believe that it's already done and we're already saved we come into something that already belongs to us when we come to a realization of it i don't have to have faith in it for it to be true it is true I need a realization so what must i do to be saved now you've got to understand you know, also the context of these words um we tend to immediately think salvation is always spiritual but in many occasions it's not always spiritual sometimes it's physical salvation as well so taking that into thing um you look at the whole concept and god wants us to have experiences of him that bring a realization which enable us to actually believe in the truth of what already exists not that when we try and generate faith in something then that will make it true that isn't how it works um, so i don't understand the verses that you quote in the same way that you're obviously understanding them in that i have to do something to be saved i'm already saved i'm already saved i'm already born from above everyone is from the resurrection day onwards they just need to come into a realization of it evangelical christianity will always put onto people something you have to do to be saved rather than coming to a realization that you already are saved from the reality uh 2 corinthians 5 19 god was in christ reconciling the whole world word cosmos to himself not counting their trespasses or sins against them that's a done deal he reconciled us to himself we just need to realize that that is the truth and we then enter into the truth that already exists so when you when you look at that what jesus accomplished on the cross i don't have to exercise faith in that it's his faith in me that is how it works um and that is not my works it's like galatians 2 20 i live by faith the faith of the son of god so or from the son of god so he gives me the ability to believe i don't generate it myself that's the problem with works-based christianity you always have to do something to get something whereas with god you just need to realize what already belongs to you as an inheritance as a child of god 
that you're already born from above, you've already been forgiven, therefore you don't need repentance to be forgiven from the evangelical perspective. But you do need to understand that you are already forgiven and therefore believing that you're already forgiven enables you to live in the reality of being forgiven, which is a very different thing of being sin focused and sin consciousness, behavior consciousness, which just keeps people locked into being a sinner saved by grace. You're not a sinner saved by grace. You are a saint of God. You are a son of God. You're a child of God who has already been forgiven, already saved, already born from above just needing a realization of it and we we must preach the good news the gospel of inclusion in christ not exclusion and only inclusion when you pray a prayer or when you do an altar call or when you do whatever every system says you need to do to enter into what is already yours the reality is that doesn't make something happen it's already happened if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much